What's good, YouTube? Bug Nasty's back. Got another gameplay for you here on Bakara. The Scaro. It's Domination. Um, standard gameplay. It's a pretty good score for me, I think. it's. I think I get 50 kills in this match. Quite a few deaths, but... Uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Um, I had an awesome day today on Modern Warfare 3. Just gaming with buddies. Um, I think I got I had like a 30 win streak today. Not my best, but we had a good one going. And then uh, it's kind of crazy. I got to game with X S M F X the Goat. I don't know if any of you guys know him on YouTube, but he's a big YouTuber and he's a really good player. And I've been subscribed to him for about a year now maybe a little less than that um, but someone gave him a shout out a while ago and hold on I gotta adjust the volume here it's bugging me um, someone gave him a shout out like X Jaws or somebody and said he's a beast player and I started watching his gameplay and I was like dang this guy is a freaking monster and I just started talking with him on twitter a little bit and he's a really cool chilled laid-back dude and i'm like yeah i got finals going on this week um i'm trying to game this weekend though i'll have have a break around then so you want to hook up and game and he's like yeah man how about saturday let's let's get together party up whatever so i just kept getting a hold of him and he's cool he, he was like let's party up let's do this and I was super excited because it's kind of like, I mean, if you're really into gaming, if you're really into Call of Duty at least, getting to play with one of these big YouTubers, kind of like, I don't know, if your favorite sports football, it's like getting to play catch or something with Peyton Manning or some shit like that. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's, it's just a cool experience and um, just talking with him, I learned a lot and learned a lot about kind of like YouTube stuff and I'm going to bring some gameplays out later on whenever I can get uh, my buddy to record them for me of some of the games that he was in with me and like I was really interested to see like alright is this dude going to be for real is he going to like bitch during the game is he going to totally dominate I, I was expecting him to but like I am telling you I have never in the last I don't know not on Modern Warfare 3 but I've never seen anyone outscore me like crazy and like consistently. Um, I game with my buddy Turbo and, and he gets better scores than me most of the time. Um, but we're pretty much in, this, in the same ballpark at least most of the time score wise. Um, but no, I don't really game with anyone that outscores me. And this guy, I mean first game, just hopped on first game. like. I think he had almost 60 kills. It was on this map. Um, I couldn't get anything going. I was like, I think I finished 38 and 28. And, you know, I'm playing with him. I'm just like, all right, I'm probably just going to, like, try and play supportive and, you know, help us win. Um, and we switched to ground war. That was another thing. Like, I don't play ground war. And, you know, that's what he, he wants to play. And I kind of, uh, kind of liked it because... You know, there's more people, and that's kind of what I, it's easier to get those big scores. And that's what he he was talking about. That's what he wants. He wants. He's really interested in getting a 100 kill game, and getting a few of them. And he's was talking about how he's going to try using assault more and slow his gameplay down a little bit, even though he doesn't want to, because he said he thinks he said I could get three AC 130s in a game easy, and you know, he said he'd probably be able to get it. He said he almost had one the other day. He didn't have enough. He had like 80-some kills or something like that. But he said he died like two times where he was one off of a Reaper, which would have got him a, you know, he could have had two more AC-130s that game. So, I mean, getting a 100-kill game, and this is hard. I had an 84-kill game, but that's because my Pavlo was doing work. And uh, it was just a good experience to see where I matched up. And I ended up a few games. We had the same exact score one game. I beat him two games. But, I mean, he's better than me. There's no freaking question about it. Like, when when he's, like, 
going around putting pressure on the team, it's easy for you to go in and get kills, especially the way I play. I'm a rusher too. And he he was he didn't have a game like under 40 kills unless we played t team deathmatch, and that was because everyone destroyed. But he kind of made me a little better by by playing because it was easier for me to get kills because he was just putting the pressure on. He was doing what I do when I game with my friends, you know. But he was doing a little better than me, more efficient. So it was cool to like see where I stacked up, and I'm right where I think think I'm at. I'm I think I'm an above average player. Like that's it. I think that um, I'm better than the majority, but there's a lot out there who who can kick my butt too. Um, and in one game, like one of the TDMs that we played, you know, he was going for the mob, and he was like, you know, 19 and 0 starting the game off, and I'm like six and f I don't know, like six and five or something like that, and. <laughs> then he ends up finishing the game with a really good score. I think he had like 30 some kills that match and I was like 11 and 7. And that's how quick the game goes. So it was really cool getting getting that experience with him. It was really cool that he takes the time out to um, talk with his subscribers, play with his subscribers. Um, and it was really funny though. We lost one game. We lost a domination match on Village where me and him, we both outscored everybody, and I had an awesome game. I don't know what what was coming out of my butt. I was you're doing the Type 95. I had like I want to say 53, between 53 and 59 kills, and I think maybe 10 deaths. I'm not uploading the game. We got triple capped. We are up 90 points. And we ended up getting spawn trapped, and it was me and him, and then a team just straight full of nubs. And there was a few, uh, or there was one tenth prestige on the other team, and he was pretty good. Um, and they triple capped us. I don't know what happened. I, we were farting around, too. I remember, like, oh, we got this. And I was calling in an AC-130. He called in, like, one or two, maybe. And... Yeah, we were just like, all of a sudden, we I was dying a few times, and all of a sudden, Goat was like, we're spawn trapped. And I'm like, yeah, we pretty much are. And he's like, we're going to lose this game. And we ended up losing it, and uh, I made a desperate attempt at the end of it. I go and cap a flag and tied it back up at like 188 or something like that. And I remember I, I died on the flag, and... Uh, the dude sat down on it, and we had like three teammates. You know, this is on Village. They're at A. We had three teammates sitting in the cave, and they were too scared to even stick their head out to shoot A. They didn't even get the guy. I I don't know. I just remember being pissed off. <laughs> it was funny though. But yes, props and shoutouts to the goat. Awesome player. Awesome dude. Laid back. Cool. I wish more uh, YouTubers were like that. Because I think I think they got the time. If all they do is play video games, I think more should more should game with subs. I think I think we I think uh, we owe that or they the owe that to us because we give them the views. We watch all their videos and you know um, I just feel like at least you know once a month or something they should be like have like a sub game in day and just you know say send me a message and and. Uh, you know, I'll invite you, but then of course they're spammed with notifications and stuff. But they could figure something out to make it work really efficiently and make it fun for everybody. But yeah, this game. Um, sorry, I haven't talked about it at all. I'm, I just wanted to tell tell you guys about that little experience, and then I'm gonna show you some uh, show you some um, videos of that because I got two two good scores where I'm close to doing better than him and whatever i'm not trying to say i'm better than the goat because i'm not but it was cool to like see where i stacked up but this game was actually if you've been watching <laughs> if you've been like paying attention it was a uh, really close like see we're losing now and we were losing pretty much the whole game and i kind of tried to will our team to victory here and uh do my thing man just keep rushing rushing that spawn and, and holding them back but I was gaming with my buddies 
some of my roommates and some of my friends from back home and they're getting a lot better at this game too and and i think they're they're kind of making fun of me or whatever because i'm starting to do this commentating and stuff but they know like it's a hobby of mine and you know they don't care or whatever but yeah but it's it, this if you pay attention if you go back and want to not listen to me and watch this it's a pretty good game i mean other team was doing pretty good and somehow we fought back and and beat them so these are the domination matches that i don't really like i like i like pretty much just uh holding two flags and just destroying people because i don't know i'm not really into the whole go cap that flag cap it cap it and you gotta work for it it's not my style i just like i just like destroying see right here look at that i could have got like a triple or something I, that guy that kill cam he just spawned there and i go and i'm gonna I'm knife this sam turret because i'm a team player like that now i i'll show you some of the games with the goat coming up final scores 50 and 19 a lot of deaths but a lot of kills so i'll take it but yeah thanks for watching guys and rate comment subscribe whatever you know that